Hi guys, Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with the Bins Hall. I took a little road trip this week and went to the other Bins location in the area that is $1 per item. And I think I found some really great stuff, some new Bolo brands, some cool vintage pieces, some like slam dunk, very sellable things. I can't wait to kind of dive in and show you what I found and just celebrate some good finds with you. So what about you? How was your weekend? Did you go to the bins? Did you go thrifting? Did you go yard sailing? Did you find any treasures? Let me know down below. You know I love celebrating your wins with you. But before we get started here, if this is the first time we're meeting, hello, I'm Julia. That's my name. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet. If that sounds like something that you are into, consider hitting subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. But without further ado, guys, we have so much to get through. I think I've got 40 pieces here. So go get yourself a snack, get some sustenance, grab yourself a drink. You know I have my matcha latte and forewarning, I think I made this a little too strong this morning. So I'm flying. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and let's get into the goods. So we'll get started here with some of the things that I picked up for the house. I know some of you have expressed wanting to see the, all of the stuff that I pick up, so happy to share that with you. So the first thing we have here is, this is a tablecloth from William Sonoma, and it's 100% linen. It's got that kind of like puncture lace trim here. I am in the need of a tablecloth that is big enough to cover my table when all the leaves are in it. And y'all, tablecloths are real expensive and I just kind of refuse to pay the price for a big tablecloth that I'm gonna pull out once or twice a year. And I looked this up and this is, I mean like legitimately, this is like a $200 tablecloth and it's big. So. It's 100% linen, it's white. I am going to bleach it and then air dry it. It looks like there's a couple little spots on here. This is unsurprising because it's a tablecloth and people hopefully use it to eat on, but this was a great find. Legit, like a $200 tablecloth and I paid a dollar for it. So very excited about that. And these are the moments that you know like you're an adult when you get very excited about a tablecloth. Anyway, I'm gonna put this straight in the wash. In the same vein, there were four more parachute linen pillowcases. And these actually match the ones that I had found a week ago, which are actually already on this bed. These things go for $84 per set of two. Parachute is super, super expensive. And the crazy thing is, this must have been somebody getting rid of their entire bed set because there was a duvet there. And I was like, oh, <laughs> give it to me. It ended up that there was a big tear at the bottom of the duvet. So I guess it makes sense that they were getting a whole new set. But you know, this is $160 worth of pillowcases. And if I were to sell these, these go for like $40, $50 on the secondhand market. So great, not for sale. Also, I'm putting those directly into the wash pile. That's a great find. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that I love finding at the thrift that a lot of people just go right by. You know, do yourself a nice like sanitizing wash. It's great. I mean, you're gonna find in that pile right there, right now, there's about $500 worth of linens that I paid $5 for. And the last thing that I got here that's not gonna be for sale, I got this for my friend's kid. It's just a cute little gap sweater. It's 100% cotton, but it's got the little skelly bones on it. And I just love picking up stuff for him because he's a fun little kid and he loves wearing costumes and he loves kind of dressing up and he loves funky clothes. And so I think this is exactly his size. We'll find out, but so cute. If it doesn't fit him, it'll fit one of their little friends right over there so I can give that straight to him. Now on to the clothes. So the first thing we have here is this great little top from J. Jill. I felt this before I saw the tag. This kind of stuff from J. Jill, they're like pure Jill, the like the fleece that they have, the jersey that they have, the Pima cotton is always just so soft and it is very expensive. This just has that kind of nice crisp, like minimalist V-neck. I don't know if you can see, but this has like a little bit of a speckle to it, almost like a vintage sweatshirt. So it's in this pretty blue. This is called, yeah, Pure Jill Tranquility Fleece. And it's made with, okay, so it's 80% lensing, eco vero, viscose. Lensing, eco vero is a trademarked name. So for example, like if you're talking about a Tencel, Tencel is a brand name actually owned by Lensing, same company. So Tencel is a brand name of Lyocell. All Tencel is Lyocell, but not all Lyocell is Tencel. Does that make sense? 
think brand name. So anyway, Ecovera is another brand name owned by the same company, Lensing, and it's viscose. So in the same vein, that is a blanket statement and that will save your clothing. Like Lyocell and Tencel and Rayon and Viscose are such great fabrics. They feel so great against your skin. They can be cooling, but if you've ever had one of those shirts that shrinks up like five inches when you wash it, chances are you washed it in water that was too warm. Tap cold if you have it. So anyway, this is something that I'll probably get somewhere 25 to 35 on. It's a size XL. Just perfect, cozy, little kind of long line top with tall side vents. Love it. Next up here, oh my God, this was so cool. So there was a little cache of vintage men's this week. And I had a few pieces and I ended up putting quite a few back because there were just stains that I didn't think I'd be able to get out or like a rip in a place that I didn't think I would make it sellable. But this is one of the pieces that I did keep. This is like a vintage little polo shirt with these cool stripes on it. There are a couple little spots on it. I'll give it a very delicate wash, see what I can get out. But this is 100% the kind of thing that will sell very, very quickly. Yeah, that's the tag on it, national shirt. I mean, that if this didn't scream vintage, that sure did. This is easily from the late 70s, early 80s, and in relatively great condition, no holes or anything. So probably, I'll probably see somewhere around $30 on this. I, I imagine this is something that'll probably go on Depop because this is very much in the vein of what sells for men over there. Very cool find. Now this is something from Torrid. I haven't been picking up as much Torrid as I have been, and I have been seeing a lot of it. But something like this right now, sheer and beaded is very much in. If you can find sheer and lace, it's even more so. But this is a size three, and I have a lot of other size three pieces from Torrid. And I like to always have a lot of pieces in the same size whenever possible, because I find that buyers do like to bundle up their pieces. Anyway, this has some beautiful beading and sequining on the chest. This is fully sheer. I think you can see me through that, but this is a great little piece. I'll probably see about $25 on this in great shape. Next up is a cute little piece from Storia. And I believe Storia, and I believe Storia is a boutique brand, but it is pretty highly sought after, kind of in the same vein as like an umji. I just thought this was so pretty. Look at those voluminous sleeves. So it's this little like tie front kind of cropped top. I love the back. Like look at the detail of how the sleeves kind of go into the back. This is like, e even if this is a boutique piece, this has a lot of like detail to it. It's in this really pretty like mustard textured cotton. It is a size large. I'll probably see somewhere 25 to 32 on this. And I would imagine that this is something that'll sell fairly quick. It's kind of the time for a piece like this. Super cute. I would use, you know, like boho and brunch and festival and beachy even with this, resort wear because it's a crop. I'd really kind of go hard on the, on the keywords for this, but great shape as well. Next up, now this is a brand to be on the lookout for, for sure. This is White Fox. And White Fox, you've probably, you might have seen their sweatshirts walking around, but White Fox kind of runs in the same world as like House of CB. I've talked about House of CB on here before. I'll see if I can link the other videos where I talk to it. House of CB is like a, a London designer that makes these dresses that are really kind of corset centric. The whole like philosophy of House of CB is that they make dresses that really accentuate a feminine shape. And White Fox is kind of in that world, slight, slightly lower market than House of CB, but not by much. And I gotta say like, I wish you could feel the weight of this. This is actually quite heavy. This is like a heavy duty, like sculpting ribbed fabric. It's got a little round neck, long sleeves, cropped silhouette. It is a size medium. This is something that probably retailed 100 to $150. And on the resale market, I'll probably see somewhere in the vicinity of like 40, but definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. And if you find the sweatshirts in great condition, they have kind of a cult following and certain ones sell out. So you'll see them kind of ebb and flow in price. But if there's one that like an influencer wears that a ton of people want and it sells out, like you will see those go from like 20 to $30 to like 80 to $90 overnight. But 
definitely a brand to be on the lookout for and you'll feel the quality this is something you would pick up anyway just because you like felt it like it feels really really nice sorry this thing keeps clicking but yeah it's full zip unlined very cute perfect condition oh and cute it's got a two-way zipper so you can like kind of if you prefer to wear it with a little bit of belly showing you can do that next up oh i thought this was so pretty this is a bi anthropology top this particular line from anthropology you'll see it in a tag that's either like this it's like two little pieces hanging down or it'll be two strips across this particular line from anthropology sells really well for me and i just thought this was so pretty this is a little just kind of slightly cropped pleece top but like i love this sleeve it's kind of like it's got a little bit of shimmer to it which i think is actually picking up nicely on the camera it's got you know this is a pleece so it's lightweight it's breathable it's lined in the bodice this is i think a size extra small yeah so it is made to be quite oversized i'll probably see 25 to 32 on this i just thought this was so pretty very different i think this is a very different shirt and i'll do my best to try to find like a stock photo for this because this is something that will probably look better on the body than it does on a hanger but very pretty i love those colors next up oh, i thought this was so funny now this is something that there is a whole granny core aesthetic happening right now that i think this will sell well for and this is just a little vintage cat cardigan do you see all those little embroidered kitties catnip this is from tia designs i think this is vintage i'm pretty sure this is vintage probably from the 90s yeah look at that tag 100 cotton though and it this looks like my little nephew cat duckies oh i love them just so cute and this will go for one of two things this will either go for somebody who really loves that like granny core kind of style again something that that's like a keyword i would use and i would use it on depop as well like if you are cross listing i would make sure that this one goes on depop but even if it doesn't sell now to somebody who's in that kind of granny core this will also go at halloween time using the keyword crazy cat Cat lady i know like multiple people who have dressed up as crazy cat ladies and a hundred percent this is something that they would pick up for that costume and to be clear nothing wrong with crazy cat ladies cats are the best next up these next two i found kind of stuck to each other front to back in a pile of like six white t-shirts and four of them were just kind of no-name men's undershirts but this is just a little like we the free cropped slub t-shirt with kind of like a muscle t-shirt like sleeve there so there's this one size medium i believe yeah size medium so there's this one and then this one again was right next to it also we the free and i'll tell you i i've said it a million times but we the free of all of the free people labels sells the best for me and these kind of just nothing t-shirts always sell so well they sell so fast and i'll usually get you know 20 to 30 dollars on them people just really love them again size medium so this must have all been from the same closet but very cool like i'm always excited to find these because i know that they take up no room in the closet and they're fast they're fast sales and people just love them so very cool always excited to find those kind of shirts and definitely something that like if you are outsourcing in kind of a higher like in a regular thrift store and you see them because they're t-shirts so they'll probably be in that two to three dollar range if you see them for two to three dollars like you can feel pretty comfortable picking them up knowing that you're gonna get north of that twenty dollar mark on them and if you get a lowball offer don't feel like you need to take it because you will get another higher offer really soon next up this is just a little and i may end up keeping this this is just a little like kind of beach cover-up kimono from world market and world market if are you all familiar with world market world market is owned by well i guess it's owned by overstock it was owned by bed bath and beyond at once upon a time i i know that they they sold to overstock world market if you are unfamiliar with it or you don't have one around you is kind of like i want to say it's kind of like a pier one imports but you probably if you don't have a world market you probably don't have a pier one imports near you it's just a it's like a store where you can get outdoor goods you can get dining goods you can get kitchen goods and you can also get like food from all over the world so if you really like like japanese candy or german candy or british cookies you can usually find them there so if you've never been in one 
you should definitely check it out because they're super fun. But they do sell these little kimonos. They always have a little section of kimonos or little dresses. And in my experience, they actually sell pretty well. They sell through pretty dang well. This feels like cotton. It's at least a cotton blend, but people really love them. And uh, yeah, every single one that I've had has sold pretty quickly for like 20 to $30. And this has cute little beads. Can you see that there on the little placket? Yeah, so I would anticipate $20 to $30, and if I do end up selling it again, I might try this on, because I, I do kind of like it, and I'm in need of a swim cover-up right now, but if I do end up selling it, it'll probably be somewhere in that $20 to $30 range. Next up, now this was kind of a cool find. This is from Soft Surroundings, and I can 100% see this being worn for like 4th of July at the beach, right? This is kind of a loose-knit sweater with sequins. Can you see the sparkle on that? Very, very cute. It is a size XL. It is hooded. The fabric, the fabric tab has been removed from this, but it kind of feels like it might be a linen blend. It's got that nice like drape to it that a linen sweater has, and it's in like perfect condition. This is really cute. I'll probably see somewhere 30 to $40 on this. Next up here, now this is something that I would pick up pretty much from any brand. This actually is unbranded. It is a size 1X, and it's just a little cotton crochet kind of long line cardigan. These are the kind of things, I sell these a lot for like swim cover-ups, for resort wear, you know, using these kind of keywords. As long as it is cotton and crochet, these are things that people like actively search for. They use those words in their search terms. So make sure you have them in your search bar, in the body of your listing, in the tags. Actually, if you haven't seen it yet, I just made a video that's all about keywording, like optimizing your listings to be keyworded for all the different platforms. I'll link that down below. If you haven't seen it yet, for sure sit down and take a watch. Hopefully it's really helpful for you, but this is, again, something that I'll pick up as long as it's cotton and as long as it's got enough about it that I can kind of keyword in. So I think I'll probably see about $25 on this. That's about what I usually see on these kind of crochet dusters. Next up, now this is a pair of men's hiking pants from the North Face. And I'm kind of slowing down picking up like those mid layers from the North Face. They're sitting around a little bit longer. But stuff like this will always go from a reputable brand because it, it's something that like, number one, it doesn't have any trends. Number two, you know, people buy one pair of these and like that's what they use for the next 10 years of hiking. So they want a reputable brand. The North Face, of course, is definitely a reputable brand in the outdoor world. These are convertible in that they have like the legs that zip off. They're in like perfect condition. Size 32, which is a great like average size. And they've got the built-in belt so you can cinch it, you know. Fun fact, if you ever do like multi-day hikes, uh, you will lose <laughs> like a pant size. I went on a long, week-long trekking vacation with a couple girlfriends a few years back. I remember I had I had trekking tights, which are like leggings that are, have like reinforced knee and bum, and I literally had to cinch those things so tight <laughs> on the last day to keep them from falling down and me flashing everybody else that was on the mountain. So anyway, something like this, these retail for about $100, and I'll probably see somewhere around 35 on these. They're a great pickup. This is exactly the kind of thing that you should be keeping your eyes out for from North Face. Stuff like this has kind of an inelastic demand. If you are unfamiliar with that term, it doesn't matter what's going on with the economy. For the most part, there's always going to be a demand for it. So something like toilet paper has inelastic demand. Like everybody goes to the bathroom and while you might buy a cheaper version of toilet paper, you still need toilet paper no matter what. That's an inelastic demand. You know, and when you see kind of economic downturns happening, a lot of people turn to like outdoor activities just because they don't they don't cost as much right so yeah you might buy a $35 pair of pants now but you can go out hiking all summer with that you don't have to pay $35 like you would for like a drop-in class at a gym or, or whatever you know what I'm saying so like people turn to those outdoor activities even in economic downturns next up now this is a brand to be on the lookout for sure this is called pack 
Impact makes these ultra soft, ultra cozy kind of sweats, loungewear. It's their whole thing. I have been getting, and I swear to God, it's not since I've gotten this. I have been getting served ads for Pact so hard recently. Let me know if you are as well. This, it's just, you know, I travel a lot, so I'm always looking for like the best travel outfit. So this is a size large, and I, I'm thinking that this is a kid's. I mean, unless it's a slim, like unless it's kind of a cropped slim fit for women, I'll have to do a little research on it. But these guys retail for in the $100 range, and if you find one of their more like in-demand pieces, they'll easily go for $40, $50. So definitely a label to be on the lookout for. Let me get you up closer so you can get a good look at that. Packed. Really beautiful quality textiles though. I will say that you know I'm such a sucker for a high quality sweatshirt and this feels so cozy. Definitely on the warmer side though. This is a true fleece. This isn't uh, this isn't French terry. Okay, next up here, I've got another little kimono with a lace inset in the back. This is size 2X. I just love picking these up, people. They do sell really quick. 20, I'm not gonna be getting 30, 40 dollars for it. I'll be getting somewhere in that 15 to 20 dollar range, but they will sell quick. This is from a brand called Liberty Love, which is another boutique brand. I love I love when you get these like boutique brands that are obviously kind of like trying to trick your eye. This looks really similar to the label for for Love and Liberty, which is a Johnny Was sub brand. I'll see if I can find one of the labels and put it over here if I can find it. But this is obviously something that's meant to like kind of play on that name. Anyway, 15, 20 bucks for this. Again, in great shape, size 2X. I will pick those up at the bins all day. Next up, now this is a pair of Zara jeans and I don't pick up a ton of Zara jeans, but every once in a blue moon, I see a cut that I think will be pretty popular. So these are kind of like baggy. They're like kind of 90 style jeans. They're a size 10, which is a great size. I don't know. I know that some of the Zara denim has the white label on the back. Some of it doesn't have any label. This one has like a like a jelly pink one. Uh, if anybody knows, like, is that a modern thing? Is that something that's happening like this year? Either way, let me know. But these are in great shape and I think that these will sell in no time. I've had pretty good luck with Zara denim. I've had several pairs sell like within a week for like $40. And I think that they only really retail in the like $60, $70 range, but they do sell out and people seek things out. So definitely, I mean, tread lightly, your mileage may vary, but I think that this is something that I do like picking up. I am just very selective with which ones I do pick up. Next up, now this is a Bolo brand for sure. So this is Aviator Nation which is exciting to find. I, you know, it's funny, before I lived in California, I only really knew about Aviator Nation because we had friends that lived in California and when they would come to visit, they would always be wearing these sweatshirts. They are egregiously expensive, <laughs> like $178 for like a full zip. This was probably in the $80 range. This is just a little men's t-shirt and there is like a little hair of a spot here. But I'll tell you right now, that's not gonna hinder this from selling. It might sell for $35 instead of 40 or whatever. It might sell for a little bit off, but this is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. For example, the first piece I ever found here was a kid's sweatshirt, a kid's sweatshirt that sells for about $100 retail. And I sold it within one day for like $55. So, a bolo brand for sure and i mean something that will sell immediately people love it and i gotta say like their textiles are really nice they do wash beautifully they're, they're definitely the kind of clothing that gets better with every wash i'm i am so excited every time i find a piece and this is a size this is a size xl this will sell in no time like i said there's just like it looks I mean, it's just like a little bit of lightning right there above the lightning bolt. You can't even really see it unless you're really looking for it. And this is one of their logos. So definitely you want to look out for this in the bins, you know, if you're kind of scanning for your first pass. That is their main logo. So keep your eye out for that little rainbow. If you see it, just grab it, figure out if it's in great shape later. Next up, now this is something I might keep for myself. Uh, just because I love Vineyard Vines. I used to live in New England, so I love it. But this is just a little Vineyard Vines pocket tee from California. This is a little way to kind of celebrate like 
my East Coast and my West Coast life. The t-shirts are really not something that I would tell you to like pick for resale, but they are very high quality. They're again, one of those kind of brands that gets better with wash. This is like a 2XL, 100%. This is something I would just throw on with like bike shorts. I do like it. So again, I think I'm gonna keep this for me. I, I think that this would only resell in like the 10 or $15 range. Other things from Vineyard Vines, for sure, you wanna pick up the Shep shirts people really like, the dresses people really like. It's an expensive brand, but the t-shirts you're not gonna to get too much. Maybe, maybe one of the long sleeve ones if you find it at the bins, but I would not go paying five or six dollars for something like that to resell. Next up, now this is kind of a wild card. This is a little dress from Zara that I thought was so cute and it's definitely something that I'm gonna need to put on the mannequin to see like the full effect because it's got ruching here in the middle so it'll kind of ruch across the middle. It's this pretty like baby blue and brown zebra print. It is midi length with a little slit. I think it's so cute. It's got a little bit of a racer back here. It's a size small. You know, something like this, unless it's one of their blogger favorites, I'll probably see, I don't know, 25 to 32 on it. It is very cute. It is something that somebody can throw on. It's like a party dress. You know, this is something that I would like wear out to like dinner and dancing with the girls, right? Wear it to the club uh, or the club, depending on what you want to call it, in like perfect condition. Next up, this is another soft surroundings piece. I found a lot of soft surroundings in the last two weeks. And it's kind of interesting because I feel like for a couple months there, I saw almost nothing. I saw almost no pieces, but this, I love. This feels like where soft surroundings and free people come together. This is just a cute little t-shirt. It's got that kind of like garment dye, acid wash effect to it. So it's kind of a scoop to the front. It's got a little bit of a bell out, and look at the back. Isn't this so cute? This is like a textured fabric here in the little godet with little buttons up top with a lace trim. Isn't this so cute? Size large, I'll probably see, I don't know, about $30 on this, maybe 35. This looks like free people. Next up, we've got another little Zara dress. I thought this was so cute. This is like a little turtleneck sweater dress, another size small. And it's this kind of like cloud gray color. It is ultra light gray, but it is definitely gray. It is a sweater dress. It's in great shape. It's midi length. Probably see, I don't know, 25 to 32 on this. I wouldn't be super surprised if this doesn't sell until like later in the summer. It does feel like it might be a good like transitional piece. I do love Zara dresses. They sell very well for me. Zara dresses and Zara linen. Next up here, now we have another cat lady piece. Maybe this is from the same closet, but this is a little vintage short sleeve denim shirt. The most adorable little cat garden embroidery on it. The brand here is Quiz New York, and it's a size medium. Something like this, again, something that'll probably sell on Depop. I'll probably see 25 to 30 bucks on this. Oh, this was such a cool find. Now this I felt in the bins and I was like, what is that? So this is a t-shirt from a brand called Young Maven. Young Maven, I think it's pronounced Young Maven. That is the tag you're looking for. This is a hemp t-shirt. And it feels, if you've ever felt like a, a full linen jersey, that's exactly what this feels like. And I guess it makes sense. Hemp and flax are, are very closely related. So this is just a pretty, like a steel cadet blue. It does have like a little bit of a condition issue with this here, but the thing about hemp, same with linen, is that it's generally a pretty strong fiber. So this isn't something that I would like be concerned about spreading. These retail, I think in the $50 range, so this will probably resell somewhere 20 to 25. But guys, if you are somebody like me who just loves a really gorgeous textile against your skin, take a look at these shirts. I think it's something that you'll really like because I'm feeling this right now and I just want to wear nothing but this for the rest of my life. Next up here, this was a cute little piece from Lucky Brand and I absolutely love this. Also might keep this for myself or just might put this into my rotation until it sells. This is brand new with tags, so I would lose that kind of cachet. It's a size large, but it's just a super lightweight, oversized baby doll t-shirt. So it would kind of hang a little bit lower in the back when you wear it on. Super cute little split neck. 
it's that kind of cotton lawn, ultra, ultra lightweight. Something like this will go probably 25 to 35. It is brand new with tag. It is very cute. I do love my stripes. This is another cute little J. Jill piece. I've, again, another thing that I found that I felt before I saw the tag. This is just a little white cardigan, but it is a linen blend. This actually feels very similar to that t-shirt with just a little bit of a coarser weave here, but just a plain little basic boyfriend cardigan. It's got the two little pockets right here. Nice chunky buttons that are like kind of curved. Do you see that? Isn't that kind of fun? I don't know, little details. This will sell probably around $30 and a linen cardigan again, super, super classic. What size is this? Size large. Something that will never be out of style. I love selling pieces like this. And don't get me wrong, I love selling a trend piece because trend pieces are the worst things to splurge your money on, but I love when we're able to get really classic pieces into new closets to just prolong their lives. Now next up, this is a pair of pants from Halara. Now I'm gonna tell you, I would not be picking these up if A, I was not finding them in the bins, and B, I was not finding them new with tags. Halara is, a brand that got started with activewear and now they do these kind of like suit pants and i will say like i own a pair of their pants and i love them they retail i think like 48 dollars they are one of those brands that's like always on sale for 39 <laughs> you know like they the price is 48 dollars but it's always 39 dollars they do resell through very, very well. In fact, I want to say, I can't remember if it was Posh Sidekick or if it was Posh Mark. One of the two had sent out like top selling brands and Halara was one of those top selling brands. They do sell out of things and people do really love them, but these are just basically like pull on trousers. They have an elastic waist. They have, you know, welted pockets on the back, front pockets here. I will say if you are looking for a trouser look without having like a rigid waistband, I would check out Hilara. I would check them out maybe on resale, see if you can find them. If not, they're very inexpensive. Do I think that they're going to last years and years and years and years? No, but this is very much a trend piece, right? Like these kind of menswear oversized trousers. Yes, they're classic. And yes, if you're like Diane Keaton, you're gonna be able to style it for the rest of your life. But for the for the rest of us in the Hoi Polloi, uh, this is very much a trend piece. So it's kind of a good place if you're looking for something that's stretchy and comfy, but you want that look. I would definitely recommend checking them out. Surprisingly nice quality. There's been a lot said about how they kind of rip off small activewear brands. There's a there's a YouTuber named Cassie Ho. She runs Blogilates. She owns a brand called Popflex and she has been very outspoken about how they have like ripped off her design. So take my recommendation with all of the caveats that it comes with. Like I said, the quality is surprisingly nice, but if you don't want to support a brand that does that, then for sure don't buy from them, which I fully support because I am 100% behind small businesses. I know exactly, exactly how hard it is to run one. Next up, now this is a men's linen shirt. This is by Rod and Gun. Rod and Gun is a high-end men's like basics company and they kind of specialize in linen. So it's just a basic little short sleeve t-shirt with Italian flax linen fabric. This is a size, I think XL, 2XL, which is a great size to find in linen shirts. This feels like brand new. Obviously I'll give it a, a you know, a bath and a good steam. The buttons are really interesting on this. I can't quite tell. I think that they're metal. I think that they're slightly enameled metal. I'm such a nerd for like really good buttons on a shirt. So something like this, I think that they're sold in like Saks and in Nordstrom. This would retail probably just north of $100, maybe closer to 150. And on resale, I'll probably see somewhere 30 to 40 on this. Maybe a little bit more because it is a 2XL and those are just slightly harder sizes to find, but this is a great find. Again, this is in like beautiful condition. It's got a little tag here on the bottom with Albini. I'm assuming Albini is their fabric supplier. For sure, give me all of the background information about how and from where you source your, your garments. I'm, I'm here for that. Next up, this is another little lucky brand, Boho Top. I just thought this was so cute. This is a little like white cotton, textured cotton. If you can see the texture on that little kind of striped weave, like a sheared and stitched yoke very much a baby doll so it kind of comes out from here 
This is size XL again. It's a slightly cropped silhouette, so something you'll be, it'll just kind of like hit like mid hip. You'll be able to tuck it in a little bit in the front if you want, but not that much. Blue sans sleeves, I'll probably see 25 to 32 on this. So cute. I do love these boho style shirts from Lucky. They do tend to sell very well for me. Guys, we are getting there. Okay, so this is a pair of Lululemon pants and I felt the fabric and I knew immediately what it was. I've talked about this before. I absolutely love their new Lux fabric, which is kind of like, so the aligns are made of Nulu, which is a brushed version of this fabric. New Lux is that kind of slick fabric. The first pair of Lululemon leggings I ever bought, and I bought them off of the We Made Too Much. They were kind of a funky color. And I want to say I bought them in like 2012. It was before I moved west. So 12 years ago. I literally still have them in active weekly rotation. I had to go and get them and show you. These are the ones that I bought 2012. And I'm gonna say confidently, there's at least three or 400 wears on these leggings. And like not loungewear wears, like 45 minute rides on the Peloton, long walks. And I mean, like no wear whatsoever. This is the kind of thing that they make these for like running because no matter how many times you go like this, they're never gonna pill. But I, I just love them. I just love them. And I think that these are the fast and free tights. I think this is a size zero. Sorry, these are a size two. So they'll take a little bit longer to sell. But there are other people out there like me that absolutely love these. They still make these. They still make the, this is black, so they still make these in this color. These are the 7 eighths length. I'll probably see 40 bucks at least for these. They're in like brand new. Can and everybody talks about Nulu. I love it. Don't get me wrong. It's great, but it pills like crazy. If you want a good pair of workout tights and you don't want like heavy compression, I cannot recommend the Nulux fabric enough. Again, I mean, I used to spend... 30, $40 on a couple pairs of leggings every year from Old Navy or Gap or wherever they happen to be having a sale. The amount of money I've spent on leggings has absolutely like plummeted since I started investing in Lululemon leggings. They just last. All right, next up, we've got another soft surroundings piece. This one's just a double layered kind of gauzy top in this pretty spring green with a little elbow length sleeves. It does have that double layer with a little bit of a point at the bottom. I can 100% see these being worn with like little white jeans. This is a size large. Again, something super basic little top. This will go 25 to 30. This will go a little bit lower, I think, than the other soft surroundings pieces that I found this week. Still adorable. People do really love the brand. I would recommend for something like this because it is a little bit more of a mature brand that I, I would keep your sourcing to like size large and up whenever possible. That's a problem here because I find more smalls and extra smalls than probably anywhere else in the country. But if you can, especially if you're sourcing for that higher dollar amount, stick to the higher sizes. And if you can get like 1X, 2X, 3X, 4X, jump on them. They're incredibly hard to find. It's really a nice service to people who are already grossly underserved in the garment industry today. Next up, now this is an interesting thing. I don't know how fast these will sell. These are a pair of like leather leggings, but I wanted to talk about the brand for sure. This is a brand called Avec La Fille, French for with the girls. And these are a size large, kind of camel colored faux leather. Avec La Fille is a brand, I I'm pretty sure that they sell at Revolve in that kind of world, and they are really sought after. They're one of those kind of hot brands that is really being kind of pushed by influencers, so they have that demand on the secondhand market. Again, they have like other faux leather pants that are more trouser-like that are going in the $80 range. They probably retail $100 to $150, but because of the visibility of it, it's definitely one of those brands to be on the lookout for, at least right now. So for something like this, I'll probably see 30 to $35. If it was one of the more trouser styles, again, it would probably be close to 70, 80. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Next up, oh, this is a cute little free people top. I really like this. This is kind of a slightly cropped, really boho style shirt. It's got little tie sleeves. It's got kind of dolman sleeves. It's one of those wider silhouettes with a little fabric covered button front. What size is this? Size medium, 
in great shape. These are the kind of pieces from Free People that go pretty quick, especially right now. This kind of crop silhouette is what people are looking for. So I'll probably see, I don't know, 30 to 40 on this. Free People is a little bit saturated, so I really try to keep to, unless it's a We The Free t-shirt, <laughs> I try to only get the more kind of aggressively boho pieces from Free People because that's what people are really seeking out from them. We're getting there, guys. We've only got a few things left. This is another little Free People piece, and I thought it was so cute. I love finding, like, embellished Free People pieces because I don't see them all that often. This is a cute little mini dress. It's got, like, kind of an asymmetrical hem. I don't know if you can kind of see, but the seaming goes, like, diagonal across the bottom. You can see it on the back maybe a little bit more. So this is, I think this is called, like, the liquid sequin dress or something to that tune. I have it in my spreadsheet. I'll put it down on, on the screen here, but this is a size extra small. It's just a little party dress. You know, I'll probably see 35 to $45 on this. Super, super cute. I do love a sequin dress. Oh, and it's I got a nice, I don't know if you can really see that. You see, it's got kind of an open back. Let me put my hand in there. So the open back is just like a little sliver of back that goes all the way down to like the kind of the small of the back. High neck otherwise, very cute. Next up, this is a pair of Judy Blue jeans. Everybody talks about how well they do. This is the first pair of like actual just jeans that I've found. I think they're known for being like really stretchy and apparently they make kind of limited quantities of different jeans. So people really seek them out. I've heard a lot of tales about these things really, I think they retail for like $70, $80. And I've heard a lot of tales about these things reselling for $70, $80. So this is like a kind of a darker wash, slim jean. I don't think this is skinny yet, like a relaxed fit. So it's not quite a skinny jean, not quite a baggy jean, size 728. Do they use junior sizing? Let me know, let me know down below. Excited to kind of get these listed. I've never, again, I've never found one of like just the pair of jeans. Next up, now this is such a pretty shirt. This is from a brand called Bishop and Young which I believe is sold at Anthropology, And it's this kind of pretty like suiting inspired stripe. So it's kind of a V-neck in the front and it's like a satin little navy blue stripe. And then in the back kind of hangs from that back brace, right? So it has a little bit of a drape to it. I just think it's so cute. What size is this? Size medium, I'll probably see 25 to $30 on this. It's just one of those cute little tops that you can wear from like work to happy hour. Next up, now this was something that I grabbed literally on my last pass at the at the bins. I was ready to go and I kind of ran back to put back some of my, you know, discards. And I found this beautiful top. This is from Robert Rodriguez. And I'll have to put this on the mannequin to show because it's, you know, one of those very, very drapey things. But it's a pretty, this is 100% silk. These are your straps, right? So it's got that kind of front and it drapes down here. This is a size medium with a little split back. This is so, so pretty, very like floaty. Again, something that'll have to be shown on the mannequin because really holding this here does nothing for it. But Robert Rodriguez is a very high-end designer. I don't know if he's still designing or if he's designing like under another badge but this was probably five or $600 new. I've had one or two other pieces from different lines of Robert Rodriguez, and they've sold very well, like in the 80 to $100 range. I'll never bank on that, so probably like 35 to 40, but definitely a label to be on the lookout for. So pretty, and obviously if you're looking for pieces like this in that kind of silk world, definitely a brand to check out for yourself very very high quality textiles and finishing look at the look, look at the finishing under the arm right silk is such a delicate fabric so there's just like like a little black binding there and this is this sits under the arm this is not necessarily something that's going to be visible they didn't have to do that they could have just edged this like they do you know the ruffles which is just like a simple little rolled hem it's the details guys it's the details that set a garment apart very exciting find especially considering that was my last trip back to the bins Next up, now this was a fun little vintage piece and I, it kind of kills my soul that these are very in demand right now. This is 100% a vintage little baby tee. The brand is Flirt Tee and I remember this brand. I don't remember where it was sold, but 100% this is from the 90s. This is like an early baby tee with a little lettuce hem. That is called a lettuce hem if you are unfamiliar, that kind of curled hem there. It's got a little split front and a glitter 
butterfly. I will probably see 25 to $30 on this, most likely in Depop. Yeah, it's 100% cotton, you know, so it's definitely good. It's washed well. It's, this is the kind of stuff that's just really sought after today. In fact, it's funny, I was just having a conversation with a friend about Fashion Cafe. Do you remember Fashion Cafe? A, what a horrible, idea to make a chain restaurant around supermodels of the 90s because nothing made me feel more like wolfing down a big juicy burger than looking at pictures of Claudia Schiffer and Cindy Crawford and Naomi Campbell. But anyway, we were laughing because the baby tees that they put out, like the, the merch tees that you could buy at the Fashion Cafe, they were designed by this woman named Linda Meltzer, who was the original, like she originated the baby tee. Like she used to go shopping for these like French cut kids shirts in Europe and she would kind of put, she would screen designs on them. So they were like the most coveted t-shirts. So today, because those t-shirts were made by Linda Meltzer, they're super in demand on the resale market. So much to the fact that they've actually re-released, like the original maker of those t-shirts has re-released them, you know, with the original cut and the original fabrics. I, I wanna say that the name of her store is called Pretties, I think that's what it's called. For like, I remember the first baby tee. I wanted one so much, and you know, we just didn't have a ton of money. So I remember I cut off the bottom of an old leotard, and I had my mom cut out a star out of silk, and we stitched it on. I remember wearing that thing so proudly. Under overalls, always. So finally, last piece here. I thought this was so pretty, and I didn't know this brand at all. It's called Dolma but the quality on this is so nice. It's that ultra lightweight cotton with this beautiful, this looks like a block print. It's not a block print, but it looks like it. It's got that pretty pin tucking detail on the front. Also the same on the back and it's midi length, fully lined with pockets. So I do a little research and it turns out Dolma is a company out of Tibet. So there are kind of handicrafts from that region of the world. And they retail, you know, in the 100 to $200 range, they do resale between like 40 and $80. So I think this was a great find. And this is in like beautiful condition. Size small, just, I mean, like so dreamy, so, so lightweight. So definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. If any of you have ever found a Dolma dress, again, I'll show you that again. If any of you have ever found something from them, let me know down, down below. I, I've never even heard of it, but I'm glad I know it now. Definitely a new Bolo brand for me, for sure. But that is it, guys. That is the haul for today. I think I found some really great stuff. A couple new Bolo brands, definitely some cool vintage pieces. I wish more of those like men's vintage pieces that I found were in better shape. They were definitely the kind of style that I think would sell really, really well, really fast. If not to like people who would wear it for fashion, I can 100% see that selling to like production, to like a, you know, a costume house, but they were just in really rough shape. So, but for all of you numbers nerds out there, I have 40 pieces here. So I spent $40 on sellable clothes and the retail value on everything, of course there's guesstimates because there are a couple vintage pieces in here, is about $5,000. And I'm anticipating sales around $1,100 to $1,200 on these, which will leave my profit somewhere in that $1,000 range. And with a $40 investment, that brings my return on investment to a whopping 25X. But guys, thank you so much for hanging with me while I go through this haul. I always love sharing my treasures with you. I love seeing the treasures that you guys find and celebrating with you. And it makes me feel like I am thrifting right alongside you wherever you are. I love to celebrate your wins. But guys, I really appreciate you choosing to spend even a little bit of your time with me. I know we are all so busy. We have so much going on. And the fact that you choose to spend a little time with me is really like such an honor. But guys, I hope you had fun. If you did, please consider leaving a like on this video. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you along on this journey. Don't forget to follow me on my socials. I'll have them listed right here. I'll also have them linked in the description. But guys, without further ado, have the most beautiful week. Happy hunting, and I will see you in the next one.